Hi, my name is Rob Clark and I'm a primary school educator in Christchurch, New Zealand. I work at a school called Fendleton School. Fendleton School is a school of 500 children aged 5 to 11 and I'm going to share with you some of the ways that we use Google products, um, particularly Blogger and Google Docs within our school. One of the great things about um, Google Docs for our school is that it allows people who are in different locations to collaborate. Um, for example, all team meeting agendas are constructed using a Google Doc and different people with different items to add to that agenda put it on as well as um, when the meeting's in progress um, and it's uh, obviously recorded using that tool. Um, Google Docs are used for helping make the process of budgeting and uh, where budgets are actually at transparent and so curriculum budget holders all have access to a Google spreadsheet which um, shows everyone else that has a budget um, where everybody is at in terms of their spending um, and this just helps make decision making easier and um, ensures that um, everybody knows where budgets are at and uh, what money is yet to be spent and so on. Children are starting to use Google Docs around the school to help them organise themselves. So um, a really neat example um, from my classroom is children using Google Docs to set up timetables for who's presenting a book sale or a, um, a speech. And uh, these children are seven years old and they're able to use successfully go in and um, establish a timetable which allows them to decide when they're presenting something back to the class. Um, parents can also immediately see when their child is presenting something so that if the, if the parent wants to be involved they can too. Um, one of the really exciting uses for Google tools which um, we've discovered in the classroom recently is um, through the use of an online form. Um, you can create a form which feeds directly into a spreadsheet um, and we've started using um, Google Forms as a tool to gather feedback for children based on rubrics that we would normally use in the classroom. This is a, a wonderful tool for enabling children to take ownership and control of the whole process of aggregating feedback from other children rather than relying solely on the teacher as the source of feedback. Um, and this also helps children to um, more deeply reflect on how well they have done in a particular area. Um, here you see a uh, screenshot of a feedback form that children have used um, for speeches and, and so it's a really easy tool to use once you've developed the rubric with the kids and then you embed the form on your class blog or your class website and children have been independently going and giving each other feedback and, and this creates another way that we can gather and um, and use feedback to enrich uh, next steps for kids and help them understand what their strengths and their next learning uh, their learning needs are. As part of the children's inquiry, um, one of the groups has decided to create an online form to provide our year six mediators with feedback. Um, in addition to that, we have other um, uses, other examples happening in the classroom, such as. Um, the gathering of feedback for our after school care program um, as well as the gathering of feedback for sports results which can then be graphed and uh, displayed on our sports blog. We've also used Google Forms as a really quick and easy way to gather um, evaluation and feedback on the, how the term has gone across the class um, and this can be used with parents or with children. We're going to tell you about how we use our class blog and you use your class blog and you can post um, lots of different things like stories and your favourite things and you can like. also comment on other people's work that they've been on their favourite things yeah. and um, it's a good way of sharing your own learning other people can look at your blog and see your favourite like pictures of what the class has been doing lately, like a mushy day or something like science or a big day. Um, you can put 
slideshows on and they can show good photos that you're comfortable with. Give our photos five stars on five photos and then they get the color of the top us organise trips and to reflect on our day or our week and either our teacher or someone in our class can come and look at your blog and either reply or write your own blog so everybody can have a look at what each other's day has been like. What is this we've been doing? Grace. Taking photos of us and the moustaches on the stash day. We did, didn't we? Oh, I no. need to go to October. I'm going to go back here. Uh, Mr. Simpson sent us a message saying that we were the youngest class here at school to have our own vlog. We are creating a new concept for our school website. Um, we're calling it FOS Live. The intention of this site is to make student learning central and really obvious. And what you see here is um, a series of screenshots from the first draft of this new website. This new website is completely driven through RSS feeds which are taken from class blogs um, and other blogs around the school. And um, as children post items from their learning on it, it uh, these items appear on the school website. Um, one of the great things about this site is that all of the static content is um, controlled through the use of Google Docs, which is then represented onto the site. And the relevant staff members that are responsible for each area of that site use this content and update it, and then it's updated live instantly in, in real time. Um, so this is an example of how you can use Google Docs, blogs, Picasa slideshows, Google calendars, um, and of course the occasional YouTube um, movie thrown in to create a dynamic website um, that allows you to do all sorts of exciting um, things for your school community. Um, we're also using Google Forms to gather information from our community, whether it's surveys or updating as, as simple tasks such as updating their contact details.